Let's talk a little bit about what to use when targeting steelhead on the American River. Mike Bean, who's the owner of Mike Bean Fly Fishing, has a ton of knowledge and information about uh, targeting steelhead on the American River and other rivers in Northern California. So we were talking here a little bit about the rod he uses and the line he uses for that uh, fishing there when we were on the American. This is a sage method. This is a switch rod. Um, I've um, thrown the 14 footers and the 12 footers and um, this is just a great rod and you're going to lose some distance um, but it's a lot easier on your casting when you're throwing heavy stuff all day um, and so the thing with the switch rods is you can do the traditional spay or you can just do the single hand um, and then we also have a nice large arbor uh, Reddington reel there so this is the setup I like to use uh, sage method 11 for 9 uh, 8 weight so that seems to be just right for the American, and so that's what I use. And so what we have here, this is um, just the running line. This is from Rio. This is for the switch rods, um, and it's got the new slick coating um, that they have on all their fly lines. And so um, it works very well. Um, you can, and then you can see the indicator right here. That comes in, and that goes into your uh, your backing. And so, um, yeah. So that's what I use. And then so with with steelhead fishing you can use uh, floating lines and then you can use um, there's just a variety of different things you can add to the setup um, but I've just used floating and then I'll use maybe a sink tip uh, 100 or 150 grain um, sink tip so yeah so typically with steelhead fishing you want to use about at the very least 10 pounds um, so I've got a 10 pound leader right here and then so that goes uh, seven feet and then once we get to the end of that we um, we added some heavier stuff right here so this is uh, 15 pound below that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some weight right here above the leader and then um, just as the day goes on we'll add different stuff um, to the bottom here I'll try not to take myself um, yeah so that's the setup right there as far as the um, how heavy I wouldn't go below 10 ever and then um, I've had good luck with uh, the Rio Floroflex um, uh, floral carbon so that's what I like to use um, yeah that's the setup that I've had a lot of luck with a day on the water with Mike Bean is a day really well spent You'll walk away and come away from that with a ton of knowledge, a ton of information. He knows a lot about the, well, the gear like he was talking about there with the rod and line, but also about skills, um, tactics, strategy, kind of reading the water and looking and, and understanding where and what steelhead are looking for and they're the best way to approach that. Um, I learned a lot from Mike and I also had a great time. He's just a great guy and somebody that will impart a lot of knowledge. He guides on the Sacramento. Uh, he does the American there. He also does the Yuba, Feather and Trinity Rivers up in Northern California from his drift boat. Comfortable, relaxed and uh, relaxing and a, uh, just a fun day. Uh, so let us know. We'll put you in contact with Mike. You can just call us, text us, email us and we'll reach out and put you in touch. And we'll see you right here next time on The Backcast.